Hey guys, this is Charles Clark. I'm doing my third video blog for the course Intro to Information Systems. Today we're going to be going over an article by Joel Stein called Your Data Yourself. It was uh, published in the New York Times. And it's just talking about the new data mining industry and sort of what it entails. So we're going to start off with the advantages of data mining, as Stein did in his paper. Um, one of the biggest advantages of data mining that people don't really know is that data mining allows us to get free services online by letting these companies gather our information. A lot of the, like a lot of the services, a lot of the, you know the sites, um, they make their money off of data mining. So we like we're sort of taking for granted the fact that we get all of these free things online, and a lot of them would not be capable like would, wouldn't be capable without a you know the advances in technology, but b this you know selling advertising and um, in a sense data data mining is incorporated with that. So another advantage of data mining is the fact that the data mining systems they don't necessarily track you as a person. They look at all your individual stuff. They're mainly looking at certain little chunks of data about you. So it's not necessarily as bad. It's not like it's like Big Brother keeping tabs on you. Yeah, they have all your information on like a spreadsheet, I assume. Um, but they don't really say, oh, Charles Clark, Parker, Colorado. Oh, he likes to eat sushi. He likes this and that. No. They're really just looking at small little, um, small little pieces of data about you, which they can um, you know, make money off of. Another um, advantage of data mining is the, you know, the efficiency of it. So data mining um, is mainly used for advertising. There's, um, you know, it has different uses, but its biggest is advertising. And um, through data mining, they can figure out, okay, so these 100 people like um, Ford Mustang. So when they go into Facebook or they go onto Google, some of the first advertisements that would come up for just those people would be Mustang ads. So um, data mining allows businesses to advertise more efficiently and effectively for their buck. Um, so th those two things together, the efficiency of the ads and the fact that the ads are personalized to you, those are two advantages. So. I personally like it when I go onto Facebook or any of these places that they have ads that I'm actually interested in. So that's sort of one of the advantages of data mining. Um, and then another advantage of data mining is the ability to not be, I guess, to not be data mined. Um, most of the major browsers give people the choice to not be tracked. So that can be considered an advantage of data mining because you can decide not to do it. As far as the disadvantages go, the biggest disadvantage of data mining, as far as it goes for the data miners, is when they get misinformation or information that doesn't really pertain to you. Like if I were to be shopping for a Christmas gift for my girlfriend, um, data miners might think that I'd be interested in Victoria's Secret stuff. I think he mentioned that in the article, um, that is a specific example, which is obviously not true. So misinformation is a big disadvantage of um, data mining uh, leak of private information could possibly a dis be a disadvantage of data mining if um, some really personal information um, even up to the point like a social security number if that were somehow to be leaked um, that would also that would like obviously be a huge disadvantage of data mining if that any of that information was leaked um, and then another disadvantage, which is kind of a funny one, I already mentioned the retargeting. Retargeting can obviously be an advantage or a disadvantage. Um, if you have a family computer that's shared, uh, ads retarget. So if I go onto Victoria's Secret, it sees that I want something for, from Victoria's Secret for like the next, I don't know, 10, 20 days, they might be like, sh Victoria's Secret ads might be popping up everywhere on all the sites that I go to. So that's kind of an annoying thing. And he gave an example of a site that um, is a data mining website that combines it with advertising. And people that shared computers, um, their spouses would come in after they had just been shopping and their spouses would see all these advertisements for stuff that they were going to you know, get for the Christmas. 
So that's um, th there's like some potential disadvantages to retargeting, especially when you share computers. Um, <clears throat> another disadvantage to data mining is the cost of privacy uncertainty. Um, kind of a big phrase there. All it really means is that you have the feeling that you're always being watched and therefore you feel uncomfortable on the internet and therefore you don't use certain services um, that you might have used if you didn't think that someone was uh, like keeping tabs on you 24 7 so um, another disadvantage though that you know that's a pretty big one another um, big disadvantage is for groups that need um, to be anonymous that they don't really need information being collected about them just because they're so vulnerable um, data mining could be potentially used in a bad way to target these people so that's another disadvantage of um, data mining <clears throat> as far as my takeaway from the article what does it really mean for me what does data mining mean for me as a person um, in general for anyone in general it just means that as internet users we need to be aware when we put stuff on Facebook when we send emails even when we like go shopping we need to be aware that other people can see that stuff online It is no longer private once you put it online it's not private there are some situations where it are such as like or where it is such as Facebook where you can have really strict privacy settings but it gets to a point where you're so private that you're not really socially interacting with people so just a good rule of thumb is that you need to be aware of what information you're putting online and whether or not you want people to see it. And as far as other, you know, what else it means to me um, and other users, I think we need to know that the industry is somewhat regulated and because it's going to be such a big industry, it's going to be even more regulated in the future. So we like we shouldn't be too wary of it. We shouldn't um, let the cost of privacy uncertainty get at us. Um, it's like a really efficient system. Data mining is re like really helps businesses become efficient. So I think we just need to go along with it and know that um, our representatives up in D.C. are uh, taking care of us, or hopefully they are. Um, as far as what it means for businesses. Um, I've already mentioned this a few times before. There's um, for for businesses that are starting up, there's um, a, a, obviously an open market to become a data miner. Um, so that's one aspect of it. Um, as far as for companies that you know do advertise, it'll bring a new efficiency to their ability to advertise. They can target in on certain people instead of wasting their money on spam mail. Um, just ads that run on the TV you know and um, it just helps it, it'll help businesses reach new consumers that they might not have been able to reach in their typical sort of advertising practices so that's um, what businesses you know that's how it's going to be affecting businesses and as far as the government um, there's two really effects that it's going to have on the government first the government is going to have to keep up with its regulations um, making sure that there aren't too many privacy intrusions and they just they need to find a level of regulation that sort of corresponds or you know is is in accordance to what public and public opinion says it is so if people are saying that wow they're just getting way too much information on me I don't feel comfortable about that and obviously they didn't like need to regulate it a little more but until P unless there really is an upcry or an outroar of saying you know these people are taking way too much information about me I don't like it they probably shouldn't dabble too much into it um, so that's sort of my opinion on that and then where do I see data mining going in the future <clears throat> one of the big things that I took from the article I was you know he mentioned that um, Kerry was making a bill that was going to um, start regulating the industry, it was going to give people the opt-out um, option, and it was going to let people 
look at their records on some of these databases and say whether it's true or not and if it's not true then you know just dismiss it so I think Kerry is sort of on the right track and I think um, there will be bills in the future that are going to regulate this industry and make sure that privacy issues are being solved without really undermining the benefits of data mining and you know the personalization of the internet um, and I think how that's going to happen is it's gonna, they're going to take Kerry's bill and they're going to say yeah people have the right to opt out and I also feel like they're going to say yeah people have the like the ability to just like with um, credit information you can get your credit report and you can um, counter what the credit agency says and say no I did pay that bill um, I think those sort of regulations are going to be passed but I think that I think it's here to stay and honestly I don't really think it's that big of an issue I don't think that many people are going to go like go to these um, data mining websites and change their own personal information I don't think people are really too worried about that at least people from my generation and um, as long as like vital information such as credit card numbers and social security numbers are kept safe I think you know the system should continue it really does bring a new efficiency to um, business especially with advertising so that's all I have to say about your data yourself and I hope to see you guys soon. Bye.